Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to share with you some thoughts and reviews on new products that I've been using. So I'm going to share with you what those products are and then talk you through how well I like them and also give you some swatches of the different things. So let's get started. The first products that I want to talk about are from BH Cosmetics. I love perusing their website from time to time because they are a cruelty-free brand and they come out with some really cool and fun palettes and different things as well. Also a big fan of their Studio Pro line. Um, you've seen me talk about their foundation and they have a really nice beauty sponge and different things like that. But I found that they came out with this new line that is the basically in this gorgeous copper packaging and there was an eye and face palette but then also these two products. They have the BH Bliss Lash Ultimate All-in-One Mascara and then the BH Cosmetics Satin Bronzer and this is in the shade Tranquil Tan. I love the packaging. I have to say it's basically just a very sturdy plastic um, but I love the copper like finish and I think it's really nice and compact. It's not bulbous packaging like you get sometimes with like Physicians Formula and other brands. So I really like the packaging and the shade of bronzer is absolutely perfect. What I really like about this as well is that it has a slight shimmer. It's not glittery, it's not crazy shimmery, but it really just bronzes up the face beautifully. I am wearing it right now. You can see it on my forehead and I always pull it down the sides of my neck and up at the highest part of my cheekbones, not doing a contour, just kind of warming things up. And then I have on a very neutral blush today as well, but I don't feel like it looks like I'm wearing bronzer. And that's a great thing. It looks like my skin is just sun-kissed. So I wanna go ahead and swatch it for you so you can see. There it is just on my fingertip, and then here it is swatched. So it's a nice warm shade, but um, just really natural looking. Now they had, I believe, two other shades that go a little bit more medium to deep. So definitely check that out if this shade doesn't look right for you. But I highly recommend this bronzer. I've been loving it. And then for the Bliss Lash, I have to say this is a tricky mascara. If you don't like the possibility of your mascara getting clumpy at all, you will not like this. But if you're willing to work with it and figure out the best way to work it, it is a good mascara. I'm actually wearing it on my lashes today and they're volumized, they're very black. This is basically one coat of mascara on my lashes as well. So I feel like you can kind of get away with a one coat look. And mainly that's because of the wet, clumpy formula. So again, I don't mean that in like a bad, this is a bad product kind of way, but it's a preference. So if you don't like a big old brush that picks up a lot of mascara, then you're not gonna like this mascara. I happen to like it. And I have a feeling that as I use this, like maybe a month in, this is gonna be fantastic. I've had it open for about a week now and I've been using it daily. And I just find that occasionally, like after every few uses, I need to use like a baby wipe and get the excess off the wand. And I also find that I don't re-dip the wand after I do one eye to go into the second. One dip will do ya. So in that way, it's kind of nice. You just have to figure that out or else it gets real messy real fast. Another product that I want to share with you is from Becca. I could not resist this limited edition highlighter in Rose Quartz. You guys, I read reviews about it and people from all ages, uh, all skin types, everything were saying how much they love this highlight and so I just wanted to check it out. I found it in my local Sephora and I fell in love immediately. Look at that gentle pink shade. It's so so pretty. Um, let me give you a little swatch of what it looks like. I just think it's the most stunning shade for my light skin. Um, I don't know if you have medium to dark if you've tried this definitely let us know but what I love about it the most is it's subtle. It doesn't look like a stripe on my face. I'm wearing it on the tops of my cheekbones right now and you can kind of see that hint of shimmer. But what I love about this is I will literally take a small fluffy brush and I can put it, I can bathe in this stuff. And frankly, sometimes with a highlight, it's just fun to be able to do that. 
Um, so I really love it. I love the way it looks. I love how it doesn't accentuate any texture on your skin. It just kind of it just gives you this glow. So I'm obsessed with it. I love using this. Now, don't get me wrong. I do love really bold highlights as well, but this is just something different. This is something really elegant looking on your skin, and I can't recommend it enough. I really like it. All right, and then last, you guys, is some eyeshadows. I have been playing with these eyeshadows from Juvia's Place for a while now, and I have to be honest, at first I was like, this is a bold palette, and I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with it, because it is a bold palette. Look at those colors. I mean, that's what drew me to it in the first place, but then once I had it in hand, I'm thinking, uh, I don't know what I can make with this, but it's a workable palette. I am wearing like four different shades on my eyes today, and I love the look. So today what I'm wearing is, um, I put, uh, just like my face powder over my eyeshadow primer to sort of set everything so everything would blend really nicely And then in my crease I used the shade Madagascar, which is here and that looks like this It's it looks kind of like it might be a neutral to cool brown in the packaging, but no, it's definitely warm And so that's in my crease and then I have the shade Yeah, I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's that's all I got, <laughs> Y-A-A. Um, and that looks like this. This is such a rich metallic, like rusty, oh my gosh, you're gonna die. Look at that. And I had it built up pretty strong, like in the outer corners of the eyes, but then I wanted it to be a little bit softer, so I went in with the shade Zuri, which is this one, and I just grabbed that shade and I packed it on I packed it on the inner part of my eye, but then I blended it across that orange shade and it just softened it up to this beautiful, I mean, it's just a beautiful shade. It doesn't look too intense, but oh my gosh, that shade is like a star of this palette for me. It's really beautiful. And then I really wanted to play with the shade Nefertiti, this like marmalade orange shade. So I grabbed that and I put it on my lower lash line and you guys, I put it like from the outer edge to the middle, and then I put a little bit more of the Zuri on the inner corner for highlight. And then I took a bit of Kenya, which is this matte chocolatey brown, and I put that on the outer edges of the eye, on the upper and lower lash line. So I threw in a bunch of colors, but basically a really nice, warm, neutral look. There's those two shades there. Look at that orange. Oh my gosh. So I've been having so much fun with this palette. Um, it's going to be my colorful go-to palette. I think most of the palettes I have in my collection are pretty neutral. I do have some fun colors in other palettes, but that one is pretty just outright bold colors. And I think it's a lot of fun to play with. I think the pigmentation, the blendability of the shadows is awesome. And it's relatively affordable for the size of pans that you get and all of that. I mean, look at the size of those shadows and look at those colors. So I will link everything that I've talked about today down below so you can check it out, see the, the prices and where to find them. Um, but I have to say overall, these are all a win. I'm not completely sure I'll repurchase that mascara, but I will keep you updated on how I'm liking it as I continue to use it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.